This movie is to give a solution for the SOLIDWORKS quiz. For this model, we notice that it's symmetric about a horizontal plane here, so we'll want to take advantage of that when we apply our relationships. I'll start by modeling a rectangular feature with a couple steps in it. We'll extrude that and build the model up from there. Let's head to SOLIDWORKS and get to work. I'll create a new part, change my units to millimeters, create a sketch. We'll sketch in the front plane. And I'll start by adding a rectangle that is tied to the center or the origin. Okay, we want to make sure that we capture symmetry, so I will align the two center points of the rectangles and then we'll trim to remove the unneeded material. Now let's add some dimensions. Notice you can do a computation within the dimension entry. Now let's extrude this. And I want to keep it symmetric, so I will do it mid-plane. We're finished with our base feature. Now let's add the cut in this area. I'll create a sketch on this face. Go ahead and switch my view to normal too. Notice I press the space button to get this menu. I'll sketch the rectangle. I want to make sure that rectangle is aligned with the origin. So I'm hitting holding control to select both points. Now I can add some dimensions. Notice the geometry turns black when you have it fully constrained. I'm finished with this sketch. So let's go to Extrude Cut. It will default to the sketch I was creating. I want to make that cut go through all. I'll rotate slightly to make sure it's headed in the right direction. Okay, that looks good. Next, I'll add the main hole in the middle. So we'll sketch on this face, and I'll just be lazy and not rotate to a normal view. I need a diameter of 40 millimeters. Now I can extrude that cut. Whoops, not a solid, I need a cut. I want it to go through all in that direction. OK. Next, I'll, re I'll extrude the raised lip in this area. So another sketch in this face. Let's go ahead and go normal to. And I'll create a circle for the outer diameter of the lip. Then we can use this Convert Entity button to turn that edge into a 
geometry for our sketch. Now we're finished and we can go ahead and protrude that. Rotate it a bit to make sure it's coming in the right direction and it is. So that looks good. Let's do a similar feature on the reverse side. Again, I'll create a sketch, this time in this plane, and let's include edges, or rather convert entities. We need this entity, and spin around, and we also want this entity. Check. So now then, we have our geometry to extrude. This time it needs to be 13.7. Looks good. So let's spin the part around and we'll add the bump out here. So again, another sketch. In this face, oops, I'm not sure what face I chose, so I'm going to do that one again. Sketch this face. Let's go normal to. Now I'll create a circle centered here. Make it some arbitrary size. Now let's use convert entity and then the trim command. Now let's dimension our arc. Looks good. And again, create a protrusion. We'll go up to surface this time. We need to reverse the direction and come to this surface. Check. Let's rotate the part and work on some features from this direction. Again, I'll create another sketch. Let's create the solid geometry. We'll use the up to surface again. It looks good, so let's create another sketch for the hull. Go to Features, make another cut, we'll go up to Next. Okay, so the hole looks good. So let's create the grooves in the top and bottom of the block. Again, I'll create a sketch, this time in that plane, and I'll space bar and go normal too. Draw a rectangle. And this feature is symmetric about the vertical plane, so I will be sure and align the origin with that center point. Now let's dimension it. 16 in this direction, and 6 here. And let's create a cut with that. And let's go through all. So that looks good. Let's see if we can mirror that. I want to mirror it about the top plane. So far so good. Now we need to create our whole pattern. So I'll create another sketch to make a single hole.
normal view. I'll create one circle. And then I know I want the circle to be aligned with the origin in the vertical direction. And the dimension of the circle. And then the distance from the origin in the vertical direction. Return from sketch and let's create a cut. Of course this cut needs to go through all. That looks good. So our cut, you can see the hole, if you get it aligned correctly, goes all the way through. Now we need to pattern that cut. We'll use a circular pattern. And this is the circle we can use for our pattern. We want 12 holes equally spaced. And you can see it generates those and gives you a preview. So that's it. I hope that helps.